Superstock has taken over the lead. Concert Tour has been defeated. Superstock, Ricardo Santana win the Arkansas Derby. They're off. Burrow down wins the break, goes to the front from Perfect Mistress and Big Java away in third. She's Cold as Ice is fourth. Then comes Bunny Ray, Blame Nelly, and Keen Contender, and the trailer is Baja Fog. The outside two clear off to the back stretch with Burrow down and first time starter Big Java. And they'll match strides. Burrow down, so half length in front. Big Java is second, a tight length two. Bunny Ray through at the rail and perfect mistress to the outside. She's cold as ice is the gray. Fifth and about four from the front, a length in front of Baja Fog. Two lengths, two keen contender. And now Blame Nelly is the trailer and the leader is Burrow down. Burrow down up the back stretch, three quarters of a length in front of Big Java in second. Then comes Perfect Mistress. She's third in striking position if good enough. Two lengths to Bunny Ray. She's about to be joined and passed by She's Cold as Ice. Baja Fog has five lengths to make up. Then it's four back to Keen Contender. Blame Nelly has trailed throughout. And Burrow Down and Big Java have led throughout. Burrow Down, a neck in front of Big Java in second. Perfect Mistress is absolutely all in. And she's kind of going up and down. She's Cold as Ice is outside of her. Two and a half to Bunny Ray. Top of the stretch, Burrow Down and Big Java are 1-2, and now they get away a bit. Big Java outside of Burrow Down. Burrow Down's ahead in front. Big Java is second. Three and a half back to She's Cold as Ice. Third, a new leader, Big Java, off the top of the turn, is now the leader, and she's a half length in front of Burrow Down, who battles on bravely. She's Cold as Ice and Keen Contender. Big Java, Burrow Down. These two to the wire. Burrow Down's going to make her work all the way. Here comes Burrow Down. She is counter-punching inside of Big Java. Big Java, Burrow Down. Big Java! Chelsea Bailey brandishes her whip on the victory with Big Java over Burrow Down. She's called as Ice and Keen Contender. They're off. True Saint and Agave Kid show speed. Pass post is close up. Praetorians at the rail. Then Two Dot and Fort Ridge with Kierkegaard. El Venue was away awkwardly, and he's far back early. Tis Showbiz just behind him. Then Burton Joe and Smarty Grimes, and the trailer is Paparzar. It's Pass Post up the backstretch just in front of Agave Kid and True Saint three deep. Here's True Saint to put his head into second. Praetorian is fourth at the rail and two and a half from the front. Two Dot has five lengths to make up. Fort Ridge has moved to the inside for Martin Garcia. He's joined and passed by El Venue. Those two are about five from the front. Then it's three and a half back to Tir Kierkegaard. Tiz Showbiz, the 11-year-old, is beginning to wind up. He's got about six lengths to make up. Many chances past post, top of the stretch. He's got the lead over True Saint in second. Two Dot is third. El Venue is fourth. Down at the rail goes Burton Joe. Agave Kid's got a chance. Smarty Grames could do it. Tiz Showbiz. Kierkegaard from the outside, past post, has the lead. Smarty Grimes is splitting horses. Praetorian to the outside. These three. Smarty Grimes now takes over the front. Praetorian to showbiz. It's Smarty Grimes in front. Smarty Grimes won by two and a quarter. Praetorian was second to showbiz. Third, close for fourth between Kierkegaard and Agave Kid. They're off. Max is hard and backgate red break well. Preacher's pet is hard sent. Lux big boy is in the mix. Then comes Lord M and young O'Dane. At the rail goes Luz Arrow. Alongside him, Mohawk Man. Jackie's back and point blank are next. Then the bus and the trailer is slightly crafty. It is Lux big boy to take over the lead into the far turn from Preacher's pet. Lux big boy and Chelsea Bailey ahead in front. 
Preacher's Pet is second by a tight length to Lord M, who travels smartly in third. Then comes two and a half back to Max's Heart. Another five lengths back to Mohawk Man and Backgate Red. Point Blank is at the rail, then lose Arrow and the bus to the outside. Double digits off the lead. So is Young O'Dane and Jackie's back. And the trailer is slightly crafty, and the leader is Lord M, the new leader at the top of the stretch. And he is traveling very well. Lord M going to be tough to beat off the turn. He's a three-length leader over Max is hard who just took over second then the bus and lose arrow lord m inside the final furlong with a four length lead max is hard lose arrow runs a big one after early trouble but it's lord m far in front max is hard tries to hold second lord m in front lord m won by four and a quarter max is hard was second lose arrow third the bus finished fourth This is Flo. When Flo isn't waiting tables at the Sunrise Grill, she's waiting on sunsets in beautiful Hot Springs, Arkansas. It's time for a road trip. Plan your next vacation at hotsprings.org. Want to know the most exciting use of your iPhone or iPad? It's the Oaklawn Anywhere app. Oaklawn Anywhere is available in the App Store, and Arkansas residents can download it for free. Then you can bet online anytime on your iPhone or iPad and get cashback rewards. Sign up today using promo code APP and you can earn as much as a $150 bonus. The Oaklawn Anywhere app opens up a world of top racing action wherever you are. From Oaklawn, home of the Arkansas Derby and the Racing Festival of the South, to racing at tracks across the world, you can bet and watch right from your iPhone or iPad. Bet online anytime with Oaklawn Anywhere, Arkansas's exclusive window to worldwide racing. This is Lily. Lily likes making wishes and blowing kisses. She also sends postcards signed, Best Fishes. Plan your next road trip to Hot Springs, Arkansas. They're off. Arrival and River Echo, Blue Ridge Traveler and Gambler. These four are quickest, then comes to the outside and at Tez. Next, it's Zitman at the rail. Darren's Fortune is midfield with Mississippi and King Ford, followed by Eagle Pass, and the trailer is Cashanova, and the leader is Gambler. Gambler gets away at the clubhouse turn and opens up a two-length lead on Blue Ridge Traveler in second. It's two and a half to Arrival and River Echo. Right together, third and fourth. Darren's Fortune moves up for Conchari, fifth and four and a half off the lead. Zitman is sixth with five lengths to make up. He's a length in front of Eagle Pass and Tez. Then it's a gap of four more back to Mississippi. King Ford is second to last with double digits to make up. Cashanova is the trailer and Gambler is the pumped up leader. Gambler past the half mile pole with a four length advantage now from Blue Ridge Traveler in second. Arrival is about to join and pass that one with River Echo moving through at the rail. Darren's Fortune still has five lengths to make up. He's joined by Zitman and Eagle Pass. Tez begins to unwind and here's Tez within six of the lead. Ford to Cashanova. Mississippi didn't fire today. King Ford Ford is the trailer, and we have a new leader around the far turn. It's the veteran River Echo. River Echo has taken over the lead. A rival goes right with him. Two and a half back to Eagle Pass. That's all for Gambler and Blue Ridge Traveler. Darren's Fortune in the center. Top of the stretch. River Echo leads, and now he's a full length in front. Now make it two lengths from a rival in second. Zitman moves through at the rail in third. Then Eagle Pass. River Echo. Zitman's the one with a chance to get him on the inside, and Zitman is closing. River River Echo is reaching. Zitman is closing. River Echo, Zitman, the veteran. River Echo, yes. River Echo beat Zitman. Arrival was third, close for fourth. Maybe Cashanova over Tez. They're off. 
Royal Daher broke well. American Mandate and Top Gunner are close up. Between horses, a Toka who's going to check off heels. Whiskey Double is next. Established as second to last early. He's joined by full authority at the back of the pack. And Royal Daher has made the lead. Royal Daher up the back stretch. A half length in front of Top Gunner in second. Two and a half to American Mandate. Full authority who's flying through at the rail in Atoka. Established as second to last. He'll have to make up six lengths in the final three furlongs. Whiskey Double is the trailer, and Royal Daher and Top Gunner go at it. Royal Daher, a measured neck in front of Top Gunner in second. Two lengths to Atoka in a third. Full authority drops back, passed by American Mandate. Established has yet to do any running, and Whiskey Double the trailer. Top Gunner puts his head in front. Royal Daher still confidently ridden at the rail. They're matching strides with Atoka three deep in third. Top Gunner and Royal Daher. They continue a great battle. Royal Daher inside, Top Gunner outside, and Royal Daher now retakes the lead. He's a length in front of Top Gunner and Atoka. Royal Daher and Top Gunner, Royal Daher in front. Royal Daher won a length and a quarter. Top Gunner, good second. Atoka third, full authority. Finish fourth. They're off. East Side Cool and Englander break well. Call of Honor and at Wartime Hero are close up. Then Great Faces and Make Noise. Shofar and Sun Daddy are next. Judge Philip M. and Generator and the early trailer is Tillis. It's Englander quickest at the back stretch. Two, East Side Cool in second. Englander a length in front. East Side Cool is second by two lengths to Wartime Hero and Call of Honor. Then comes Great Faces mid pack in. The 10 strike purple and three and a half off the lead. Two and a half to Sun Daddy and Make Noise. Judge Philip M. and Shofar are next, and Tillis is at the back of the pack. Actually, Tillis is second to last. Way last is Generator. Up the back stretch with Englander and East Side Cool. Englander, three quarters of a length. East Side Cool wants to go and is pulling it. Francisco Arietta, and now he's within a neck of the lead. Two and a half back to Wartime Hero, who emerges in a good spot in third. Call of Honor is fourth. Great Faces is now still fifth, but about five from the front. Tillis has passed many horses. Here's Tillis all the way up into sixth for Kenny Towhill. He's within seven of the lead. New leader, East Side Cool. East Side Cool. Wartime Hero is going to immediately go after him in second. East Side Cool's a length in front. Wartime Hero is second. That's all for Englander. The whip is out on Call of Honor. Tillis is up to fifth, but he's five lengths behind the leader, and that leader is East Side Cool. East Side Cool has the lead by two and a half lengths. Wartime Hero is shifting about. Tillis is up to third. East Side Cool and Wartime Hero. These two to the final 16th. Here's Wartime Hero outside of East Side Cool. East Side Cool reaches. Wartime Hero a final try. East Side Cool, Wartime Hero, East Side Cool. East Side Cool beat Wartime Hero. Tillis was third and England or fourth. If sweat is your body's natural way of cooling itself down, then condensation is a beer's natural way of saying, drink me. Piccolo Ultra, superior light beer. Hello, you've reached the offices of West Point Thoroughbreds. Please leave your name and your number, and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Okay, starting to move now. He's fourth. He's, uh, he's on the outside now. He's, uh, he's pressing him now. It's the one, the seven, and the six. He's on the lead. There's another horse on the inside of him. He's pulling away. He's going to win this race. Oh, oh, oh. They're off.
Alberta's sun broke beautifully and goes to the front from Southern Grace and Cherished. Then comes Coppelia, Wildwood's Beauty Away in fifth. Then Novel Squall, Miss Imperial, and Melting Snow at the Rail, and the trailer is very good, and the leader is Alberta Sun. Alberta Sun with a two-length advantage over Southern Grace, Coppelia, and a three-wide Cherished. It's another two-and-a-half back two. Novel Squall at the Rail, Wildwood's Beauty Between Horses, and a three-wide Miss Imperial. Three-and-a-half back to Melting Snow. She's got about nine to make up, and she's a length in front of Barry Good, Alberta Sun, challenged by Coppelia, and a four-wide cherished. Southern Grace is right there. Wildwood's Beauty is fifth, but only two and a half off the lead. Miss Imperial outside of her. Novel Squall stays at the rail. She moves up, and the rail is wide open for Novel Squall, who comes through to challenge. Miss Alberta has the lead. Alberta Sun has the lead. Coppelia, Novel Squall, these three to the final 16th. Then comes Cherished, and Novel Squall rides the rail to the front. It is Novel Squall, Alberta Sun, Melting Snow erupting from the back. Novel Squall, Melting Snow, Novel Squall in front. Three wins, David Cabrera. Novel Squall beat Melting Snow. Alberta's son, close for fourth between Wildwood's Beauty and Coppelia. They're off. Fast start for Cat Daddy. My Six Sense had to check off heels and to the outside market analysis with Huge Bigley at the rail. Then comes Truculent, followed by Trident Hit, and the early trailer is Fort Peck. Good solid pace on set jointly by Huge Bigley and a Cat Daddy. And they're one two at the clubhouse turn from Market Analysis, who races in third. My Six Sense now emerges in fourth, and he's saving ground at the rail in two and a half from the front with Fort Peck just outside of him. Truculent is second to last, and Trident Hit is the trailer. Six lengths first to last, Huge Bigley is the leader. It is Huge Bigley to the backstretch, a half length in front of Market Analysis in second. Cat Daddy has dropped back, and he's about to be passed by two horses in, gray, in pink silks with My Six Cents at the rail and Fort Peck to the outside. Then it's two and a half lengths back to Trident Hit. Truculent is still the trailer, and Market Analysis is making his move for the lead outside of Huge Bigley. Huge Bigley just ahead in front. Market Analysis is second. Fort Peck is two from the lead in third. My Six Cents ridden along at the rail. Then it's two and a half back to Trident Hit. Truculent is out of last place. Cat Daddy is the trailer. And Huge Bigley and Market Analysis are going at it. Market Analysis has taken over the lead. Fort Peck is about to try to move into second. Meanwhile, Trident Hit is moving up on the outside. Market Analysis the leader. Trident Hit has moved into second as Fort Peck is between horses in third. And Market Analysis comes to the final furlong with a two-length lead. Trident Hit is second. Not today for Fort Fort Peck, not today for my six cents. Market analysis, Trident Hit coming after him, and he means business. Market analysis, Trident Hit getting closer with every stride. Market analysis, here's Trident Hit. Four wins, Cabrera. Trident Hit beaten. Market analysis. They're off. Pretty Birdie, Hypersport, Happy Soul, and Ding Ding all show good speed. Very Little Sense is at the rail, and the early trailer is Wicked Halo. Pretty Birdie is going to make the lead over Ding Ding in second as... Happy Soul will race third, and she's a length from the front running Pretty Birdie. Pretty Birdie, three quarters of a length. Now Happy Soul moves up and takes second from Ding Ding in third. These three are three and a half clear of Hypersport, Wicked Halo, and Very Little Sense. They round the far turn in the 44th Dixie Bell, and Pretty Birdie is dictating to Happy Soul. Pretty Birdie and David Cabrera trying for his fifth win on the day is three quarters of a length in front of Happy Soul, and John Velasquez, the rail is open for Happy Soul. 
ball, and these two set the stage for a great stretch battle. Not today for Wicked Halo. Very Little Sense has taken third. Pretty Birdie and Happy Soul shoulder to shoulder. Very Little Sense is running a very big race, and she might run them both down. Happy Soul has put away Pretty Birdie. Very Little Sense to the outside. It's down to these two, but now Happy Soul is clear, and now she's hand-ridden away. Very Little Sense is second. Happy Soul in front. The 44th Dixie Bell goes to Happy Soul three lengths over Very Little Sense, maybe Hypersport over Wicked Halo for third. This is Jimmy. Jimmy is a virtuoso of the violin. Jimmy is also a virtuoso of vacations. It's time for a road trip on Springs, Arkansas. The thrill of thoroughbred racing is always available with Oaklawn Anywhere. Because Arkansas residents can bet on races from all over the world with any smartphone, laptop, or tablet, anytime, from anywhere. Download the Oaklawn Anywhere app or visit oaklawnanywhere.com to sign up. Sign up now and you can qualify for a bonus of up to $150. Best of all, Oaklawn Anywhere is a free betting service with no subscription fees. Bet online anytime with Oaklawn Anywhere, Arkansas's exclusive window to worldwide racing. This is Roxy. Roxy likes rock. In fact, she likes rock in all shapes and sizes. Can you dig it? It's time for a road trip. Hot Springs, Arkansas. They're off. Good start. Running Ray and Bankage shows speed. Defender is asked for speed, and he is sent up sharply. Harvard is at the rail. Caddo River now takes fourth with Bankage, who will sit fifth. Simovich and Ashotsky with Hotshot Kid and What a Country, and the early trailer is Ram. Solid pace to the backstretch. Running Ray and Defender are one, two. Running Ray, three quarters. Defender is second by a length and a half to Harvard and Caddo River, together third and fourth. It's two and a half back to Bankage between horses. Simovich three wide, and Shotsky at the rail. They're all about five from the front. Another three back to What a Country. Hotshot Kid has seven lengths to make up, and he's two in front of Ram. Midway on the backstretch, finish line is the 16th pole. Running Ray and Defender are shoulder to shoulder. Running Ray is inside, Defender is outside, and they are matching strides. Three lengths clear of Harvard and Caddo River. Shotsky stays at the rail, fifth with four lengths to make up. Bankett is between horses. Simovich to the outside has six to close, then What a Country. Then comes Hotshot Kid and Ram. The battle up front continues. It is Defender and Running Ray. Defender half ahead in front. Running Ray alongside in second. Harvard is third. Caddo River is fourth. Shotsky, Bankett's got to go from there. He's still five from the front. Front and under John Court's whip, one and Ray has put away Defender for a short time to the outside and Caddo River. Then comes between horses. Harvard is running a big race. Run and Ray, Harvard moves through and he's challenging Running Ray for the lead. Running Ray, Harvard down to these two. Running Ray and Harvard, Running Ray in front. Running Ray would not be denied as he beat Harvard, Caddo River, and Shotsky.